And um, here are my incisions. Hey cuties! So today I'm going to be doing a highly requested and asked for video and that is my Brazilian butt lift experience. I feel like my foundation is like horrendous. So I spray tan. And I have my foundation for when I spray tan and then I have my foundation for when my spray tan starts wearing off and my spray tan's almost gone and I accidentally used my spray tan foundation today when I'm darker. So cool, like look at that. I tried to blend it as much as possible but it's like orange white. Let's just try to not look at that right now. But now I said it, so that's probably all you're gonna be focusing on. Cool, my life. Now, first of all, before anything, if plastic surgery isn't your thing, then go ahead and click out of this video. Clearly, this is a plastic surgery video, so that's what we're gonna be talking about. It still baffles me when people click on a plastic surgery video and be like, I don't support that. Well, why the f did you click it? I am all for people doing them. If it's what makes you happy, then you do it. It's your body. You don't do it for anyone else. Don't do it for a guy. Don't do it because you think you look bad. You're freaking beautiful. I love the way I look before and I love the way I look now. This candle's ratchet. I made the decision to get Brazilian butt lift. It's basically where they take fat out of your unwanted areas and put it in wanted areas that you want. Hips, butt, sometimes even boobs to fill out an area. I wanted a butt for years. If you followed me like two, three years ago, a year ago, six months ago, you guys know that I'm always talking about I want a big butt. That's just what I want. I want a big bum. I love big bums. So my options basically were doing squats, which I did squats for almost an entire year every single day. And it, my legs got really nice. I did have like a nice butt beforehand, but it wasn't a big bum. And that's what I was looking for. And I actually went to see a personal trainer for one session just because there was no progress on my squats. So I'm like, what am I doing wrong? And he told me, you're doing nothing wrong. You just got to keep working, 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 working. Just wasn't fast enough for me. I literally did it for an entire year and it got a little bigger and firmer. Um, and my legs got toned like in my calves, but yeah. Congrats for anyone who can do that and get like a nice toned booty from squats. I highly appreciate you. But implant, which do have a lot of complications. I actually talked to a few girls who are on YouTube that do not share their butt implant on YouTube, but I talked to them about it and like friends of friends and stuff and people that do have them. A lot of people just didn't recommend it because it's not that safe and Canada right now is not offering any legal butt implants right now because I'm not sure why. There were some illegal ways like butt injections that people get they're very cheap they are illegal and you have to basically know somebody of somebody to get them done and just hearing all the scary complications like people were getting liquid cement injected into their bums cooking oil like all these scary things so the last thing that I saw was Brazilian butt lift and it's a fat transfer. It's the most natural out of them. I'm not saying it's natural, but that's just what it's described as. So I was like looking at my stomach. I'm like, I don't have a big stomach, but this can be my bum now. <laughs> I just wanted a bum and that's what I was after. So I met up with a surgeon in Toronto. He asked me what I wanted and I said I want a big bum. And he told me straight up, and I really need you guys to listen to this part, Brazilian butt lift is not a butt augmentation procedure. Now I had breast augmentation, which means there's these are augmented into being big. This is not a butt augmentation procedure. This is a body contouring procedure. You're like, you're not gonna get this massive booty. You're just gonna be a little bit more proportion and kind of have that hourglass figure. So I definitely went for it and it's a little bit more natural. It jiggles just because it's your own fat going in there. There's no, nothing else in my bum but my own fat that I created in my stomach. How adorable. <laughs> Please you guys do not get plastic surgery because you guys see it looks good or oh I want that. It's a huge decision. It's a medical decision. There's recovery. It's expensive. It's a big step. So don't just think that it's like a quick fix to fix yourself. I was doing it because I wanted it for positive reasons. Reasons. I wasn't saying, oh, I'm gross and ugly and fat, so I'm doing that. Not at all. I'm super happy with the results. And the number one thing I was told by the surgeon is it's not going to be a huge difference. You're going to have a little bit more booty and be more shapely, which I definitely have now because I didn't have a whole bunch of fat to put in the bum. Now, before I show you guys the before and after pictures, I'm going to explain how he explained it to me. Basically, let's just say we have this much fat that's out of your stomach. Now, they can take it out of your thigh, stomach, where I just got it just out of my stomach and love handles, no other place. So basically, he said, let's just say we have this much fat. We have to cut that fat in half and split it into two, one for each cheek and about half of that half will survive. 
So even though you have all this fat, you cut that in half and cut that in half again, that's what will survive. So I don't have this abundance of fat that's gonna be a huge voluptuous booty, but it will give me something. So that's why some people say like, oh, I don't see a huge difference because it's not a butt augmentation procedure. It's not supposed to be a huge, incredible difference. Some people on the other hand would say, well, then why would you do it? Why would you do that? Because I wanted a booty and all those other ways, ugh, they just seemed like kind of unsafe, not the squats, but all the other ones, it was just, kind of a little bit mm, complications and this had barely any complications so that's why I went for it and it was the most natural. So I'm gonna show you guys the before and after pictures right here. I will not show you guys my bare bum so these are in like underwear and skirts and dresses and stuff like that. You can definitely right off the hop see the shape difference. So when it cuts in on my stomach you can see that it's almost like fills it out so it gives the illusion of a bigger bum. So yes it's not some crazy huge difference and I knew that from the jump before I went into it, but I definitely am super excited with the results and happy. Basically in like three days, I will be fully recovered. Three months is when you're like fully recovered. So when I got to surgery, I went into the room, checked in and undressed and put on that little robe or whatever. The nurses are so incredibly sweet and I love them. Then you chill for a little bit and they give you an iPad with Netflix on it and you can watch anything. I watched um, maybe like 30 minutes of Amy Winehouse, Amy, the movie, Amy Winehouse movie called Amy. Love Amy Winehouse, she just calms me down. So I'm glad that I could watch that beforehand. And then the nurse came in, gave me like I think seven pills and you guys know that I have struggles with taking pills. Like I don't take pills that well. Like I can't even take a full Tylenol. Like I, don't, I can, like my human body can, but I, I think it's all in my head. Like I just can't do it. And I was only allowed like this much water with like seven pills and I have struggles with pills anyway. So I took them all except the Tylenol because I couldn't swallow it. And she's like, well, Tylenol, that's the least of your worries. There were other ones like anti-inflammatory, like, anti-anxiety like all these different things doctor came in marked me up and said again what are you wanting just again to be sure and I said give me the biggest booty you possibly can <laughs> and he just started laughing and then he actually told me that I had scoliosis and I was flabbergasted basically scoliosis is a curvature of the spine and I didn't even know I had this but apparently I have scoliosis and you could see it like dead on in the in the pictures like my spine was like crooked like that so he told me because my spine like juts out like that jets jut, jut, jets out my love handle appeared bigger on one side beforehand so he said I just want to let you know that we may not be able to make them perfect and I said nobody's perfect in this world so then I went into the operating room it was so much different than breast implants experience I tell you so there were like so many nurses there was the doctor there were people at my feet wrapping them in heat bags. There was somebody on this arm putting an IV in here. He was so gentle. That was the part I was scared of the most is the IV. I hate, I hate getting blood work, getting shoved in my needles, I don't know, shoved in my veins. I hate it. So that was what I was most worried for. But I honestly, I didn't even realize what was happening because there were so many other things on this arm. There was a girl putting a little heartbeat monitor on here, on my back too. They told me to lift up, put heat bags on my back. They were putting like sticky little heartbeat monitors here. The doctor was there like looking at my before and after pictures. There was tons of nurses in the room. It felt like scary almost. I was like, whoa. And then there was somebody that brought a little breathing mask over to me. The guy put the IV in. As soon as he put the IV IV in, I started getting sleepy. IVs hit me super quick. I'm not sure why, but the, this was just oxygen to fill my lungs with oxygen before I go under. And when they did that, it was hard to breathe. And I don't have problems breathing, but that like pure oxygen like almost hurt my lungs. And it almost like, I felt a little claustrophobic because there were so many people around me, so many people doing things around me and all of a sudden this thing on my face and I couldn't really breathe that well. And I'm like going, away so I was kind of just like on the verge of having a little bit of an anxiety attack because I'm like Ew. but then I just went no like chill out you're in the best possible place right now calm calm down and then I went to sleep and I woke up briefly when they were flipping me over because first they had to take all the fat out which I'm completely asleep thank goodness took all that out right blah, blah, blah I'm sleeping and then they're like Samantha Samantha we're turning you over we're turning you over and that's when I just woke up and I like tried to help them turn me over right and then went straight back to sleep like I literally was like this <laughs> and then I woke up in the recovery room with like no one waking me up. I kind of just wo woke up on my own and it was silence. And I thought that I woke up during surgery. So I'm like looking around and I see one nurse on like a computer or something like that. And I'm like, 
is it finished? And she said, oh yeah, honey, you're all done. You look amazing. And I said, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was like saying thank you and so appreciative. And I said, am I taking up too much time? And that was like one of the first things I said when I woke up, am I taking up too much time? She's like, um, honey, no, you just rest and relax. Like go back to sleep. You're not taking up too much time. So I just passed right back out. It was on my stomach and I had to be on my stomach for a few weeks, like just on my stomach. That's what sucked is I couldn't sit for two weeks, but if you guys follow me on my vlog channel, you know everything, I didn't sit for two months. And the main reason for that is because if you sit on your bum before the two week period, you will um, suffocate the fat cells and they will die. So basically all the fat in your body right now is chilling there and having fun. But this fat, they took it out and put it in another area. It hasn't attached to a blood vessel yet. All the little fat, whatever. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, but this is basically what they told me. All the fat right now is just like floating in there. So it has to attach blood vessels so that it can survive. And that's why you can't sit down um, or sleep on your back or anything like that. You basically just have to avoid pressure on that area. I flew there, so for the flight, I had to roll up a towel and put it underneath my thighs so that I was sitting basically on my thighs. In lots of videos in these past few months, I've been sitting on my thighs or standing. I'm now sitting with nothing. Um, it doesn't hurt at all anymore. I would say the worst part was the massages on my stomach because of the liposuction in my stomach. You have to massage those areas so that you do not get lumps like if you've seen those like plastic surgery horror stories of the girls or guys that have like lumpy uh, liposuction areas that's because of either poor liposuction work or not doing your massages after because there's pockets in there so you have to massage it that was the most painful thing other than that it was good when I first got back to the hotel after the surgery I was leaking pretty bad which was normal they told me it was like fluid it looked like blood but it wasn't but it was like kind of pouring and I had to sleep on these like mats almost like doggy pads that's basically what they were because I was leaking so much the nurse actually came to my hotel room in the morning to check on me and to remove my binder so here's my binder this is what I had to wear month and a half two months anyway this is it and it you just basically put it on your stomach and it compresses you it reduces the swelling and it helps healing time and it kind of just like keeps you all in there. Um, but she removed this for the first time. Scratch that, this was the worst time of the whole surgery process. When the nurse came in, she's like, Kate, we have to remove your, to make sure like you're not, you know, everything's going good. So um, I got up, I said, I'm feeling good. It just was a little bit stiff to get up on my bum. My bum didn't hurt. It's almost, it was stiff. It wasn't like pain. It was more like, oh, I've just been sitting for a long time. That's what it felt like, but my stomach I thought it was gonna be the opposite. That's what everyone else thought too. They're like, oh, your bum's gonna hurt. My bum didn't hurt. <laughs> so she removed this for the first time and she warned me before she took it off to Dalton, my boyfriend, just be advised to catch her if she does pass out. And I'm like, I'm fine. Like what? I'm not passing out. Like I was wide awake, perfectly fine. This was the next morning. And she's like, oh yeah, people just fall over and pass out for the first time. First couple times while removing this binder because you're sucked in like with this, when you remove it, it kind of oh, like relieves you and the blood flows or whatever goes to that. I'm not sure, but basically she said people like, it's common that people just pass right out. And I'm like, like I just had surgery. I'm not falling on this ground. Like what's going on? So we removed it. I felt great. She said, just keep breathing. I did big deep breaths and I did and all of a sudden I felt like I was gonna pass out I had stars all around me it was like black and like fuzzy stars and I'm like ugh, I felt like cold kind of and I'm like oh great and Dalton helped me up right away that was the worst part I was like why am I doing this like cool I paid for this to happen that took a few minutes to get my thoughts together basically and then they checked the incisions everything is good I will show you guys my um, incisions Okay guys, so I'm wearing a dress right now, but I just put on some shorts so I sh can show you guys my incisions. So this is my stomach right now. We've got no lumps or bumps on there, which I'm so incredibly happy for. He didn't want to take all the fat from my stomach so that I still had a little bit of that there. Cause I said like, I don't want to be this like stick skinny. That's not what I'm after. I'm after a booty, not for the stomach. Like I was happy with my stomach beforehand. My stomach wasn't my issue, so I just wanted to mention that. And um, here are my incisions. So I had six um, little incisions in total. The three here were the liposuction. So I will show you those right here, like near my hip, 
right there, that little guy. You don't really even notice it until, you know, you know, I point them out. Also, I'm not fully healed. These scars will go down even more dramatically, but that's that one right there. The second one I can't show you on this area right here, but it's like right probably down here. They tried to hide that one so that you can't really see it. And that one, literally you don't see at all. And then the other one, where is it? Here, right there. So it's almost like on my hips right here. This is a tan too, if you're wondering. I got lots of questions. That's that one. And then I have these same ones all on the back. Uh, three, I'm pretty sure, on the back. Two right here and then one further down, like where my crack is. But the first couple times while we're moving that, it was horrible. Like, as Dalton massaged me, which I thank him so much. He was honestly the best nurse I had. Um, when he would massage it, I would feel like I would have to pass out like every time to the point where like everything would go black and I would just have to like, oh, uh, like put a cold cloth on my head and that was the worst part. Not fun. I just like to be honest with you guys, um, especially if I've had or having work done, I feel like it, I owe it to you guys, even though a lot of people say like, it's your life, you don't owe it to anyone. I feel like I do owe it to you guys to tell you guys what's going on because I hate when I see um, people, celebrities, YouTubers, whatever, um, and then they get this work done that's quite noticeable, like a nose job or a clear button plant. Like I know for a fact that that's a button plant, but they're like chilling. I'm like, and everyone's like, oh my God, I love you so much. But then somebody says, hi, I actually got a button plant. They're like, mmm. I'm like, you like that girl and she has a button plant. Like what? But just cause she didn't say she had it, then it, then it's an issue. I just, I don't, I don't get it. And I don't care really what people will think of it because it's my decision and it's done and I'm so happy with it. So basically the first few days you will have a lot of fluid buildup on your bum. So your bum will be the biggest. It will be the first few days because all of the fat is in there and it's swollen fluid in there. So over the next few days, it will decrease dramatically. That's why the first day I said my butt's huge because my butt was huge the first day, probably double the size it is right now. Like it was massive. So that swelling will go down and when the swelling's down, the fat's in there and the fat will continue to decrease for the next few months. So you, I think they said to me that you lose like 40 percent of the fat that's in there 30 to 40 percent so you keep 60 to 70 percent of the fat but it's up to you if the next day i sat on my bum i would probably well I think, who knows you can't predict fat like that like it's your human body you could basically you could do everything right not lay on your bum not touch your bum do everything right and you could lose all that fat it's a science and nothing is guaranteed and they tell you that that is why i didn't sit for two months because i wanted all the fat possible to stay there because I went through all the time, money, pain. So I wanted to fully maximize my results. Proper eating. I ate like salad and vegetables like every single day and drink so much water. Still having a treat here and there. And for all you guys, like for me saying that I'm getting plastic surgery, I was expecting, you know, a lot of hate, a lot of wow, I thought you loved yourself. Like obviously I love myself. I love myself then. I love myself now. Like I was very confident with my body then. I'm very confident now. This was just something that I wanted to do and I can't, couldn't be happier. For all the support, like I could not, I honestly couldn't believe it like after surgery I was like reading comments and Dalton's like wow like everyone's so nice to you like what's going on like usually surgery plastic surgery people are kind of you know a little bit I love you guys and I want to thank you guys so much and that's just been my mission for the last few months is to be honest with you and to not hide anything from you because when I got my breast implants I got them done before I even started YouTube so if you don't like me now that I have plastic surgery I had these done before I even made a video on YouTube on this channel. People would ask me like, oh, do you have breast implants? And I just would avoid it. I wouldn't say yes and I didn't say no. I just avoided it. And I felt like that just wasn't the right way to go. I mean, it's my body. I could do whatever I like. I could tell you guys everything. I could tell you nothing, but I just know now that the right thing to do because you guys like share your life with me and I want to be honest with you. So that's what I did. Those are my only plastic surgery procedures I have right now. Loving yourself comes from within. Being a fake person comes from within. People say like, oh, you're fake. Well, actually my personality, I'm real as hell. And yes, I have a fake ass. <laughs> 
But not really, because it's my real fat that I earned by eating cupcakes in Starbucks. Like, it's it's my fat. Like, it's a Starbucks ass. Oh my god, Starbucks ass? That's the best username ever. <laughs> Okay. And that is basically everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This again was super highly requested. So I really wanted to do it for you guys. And I love you all so much. Remember, your bodies are all beautiful. My body's beautiful. My body was beautiful beforehand. Anyone who gets plastic surgery is beautiful. Everyone who doesn't get plastic surgery is beautiful. Like, I just love it all. I love you all. And I love you all. <laughs> Bye, guys.